Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, it's one that I wanted to upload. It's not on my regular schedule of Thursday and Sunday, but it has to do with the things that are occurring here on YouTube. And I have an opinion and I'm a little frustrated and I wanted to get on here just to be able to speak my mind. It may not reach who it needs to reach, but I feel that one ear that hears it will be enough to to get it spread throughout YouTube creators. I'm a little disappointed, disappointed because I received a email, which I know thousands of people received an email in regards to um, their videos becoming demonetized and that the uh, qualifications for monetization had changed. And this is probably like the third time that it has. Now, in all fairness, and just to note my disclaimer here, I'm exercising my First Amendment right to speak my mind, free speech, and that's what I'm doing. In all fairness of the YouTube creator, the person, the people who created YouTube, I understand the need to um, have a clean, positive environment for these videos. I understand that. There's no doubt in my mind that that's, you know, um, what they need to do. And in respect for sponsors, and different things like that, you know, people putting their names on videos and different things like that. So that is very important. And I feel like that there should be some guidelines to be able to prevent people from being able to upload any type of content and make money off of it. People exercising their um, views and race on racism and discrimination and different things like that. This is not the platform for that. I respect that with the utmost. But what I think that YouTube creators have failed us creators in is that it took a small YouTube creator to make a large YouTube creator. So everybody started off as a small creator. And they have made millions and billions of dollars off of these small creators who became large creators. And I think they have forgotten where they came from because this channel um, this whole platform would not have ever existed had there never been a small YouTube creator. And with that being said, to punish thousands of creators with their small channels, some people have um, invested a lot of money into um, developing their brands and, and trying to make a, a life with their YouTube channels. A lot of people are investing lots of time and to tell them that because they don't quite meet these really high expectations and standards and qualifications that they no longer can have their videos monetized. I have seen a lot of small YouTube creators who've had some awesome content, even more so than the larger uh, creators, because a lot of them just put out videos, uh, and I'm just being honest in my thoughts here. They put out videos because they know they're going to watch it. If you have a million subscribers, it doesn't matter if you put out a video that is not something that you're interested in. They're still going to average, you know, over 100,000 people that view that video. So therefore, they can still continue to make money off of something that may not even be worthy of even viewing. But when a small YouTuber make a video, they make it and put their heart and soul in it. And they put everything into it to try to make it something that people would feel is of use, of, of service to them. You know, I have been active on YouTube since 2013. I actually had a YouTube channel back in 2007, and I think that was kind of close to when YouTube started. It might have been 2005, but I, I got my YouTube channel in 2007 just so that I could get on and watch YouTube. And then I decided um, several years later in 2013 that I wanted to start my own channel and I started to upload content. And if you, some people I have to say can get it right away. They can jump on this, on this platform and they can hit the ground running and jump into famousness or whatever you want to call it, making money really easy. And some people it takes time. It takes time to be noticed. It takes time to for you to uh, grow your channel and to find your footing and your place. You know, because I think that more successful channels 
people have a direction in which they're going and they stick with that. And a lot of us, when we start out, we're kind of all over the place. We're doing the little things over here, little things over there. And so sometimes it takes us a minute to really find where we need to go. Now, I have to say that with my channel, I think I have vested a lot of time in it. And I actually haven't been monetizing my channel, my videos very long. Probably the last two years consistently, I think that I started uh, monetizing my videos. And, and I feel that that was rightfully so. And I have uh, over 1,000 subscribers, which was one of the criteria or qualifications that you needed to have. And the other one was that you had to have at least 4,000 watch hours within the last 12 months, which I fall of maybe a thousand and some hours short of that. And to tell me after five years of consistently trying to build this channel that my you know, videos can long, no longer be monetized as of February the 20th, and then I probably have to go through some rigorous process to be able to have them monetize, you know, once they look at me again after the 20th, you know, they're going to probably have all types of things. It's going to be something here, something there that you got some hurdle to jump over before you can do it. I think it's really wrong. I think it's unfair because we all had to start somewhere. We all had to start at the bottom and work our way up. And so therefore, I think that there should be some type of system in place that can scan these videos for content that are that is not useful to anyone that is derogatory or discriminatory or racist to make sure that you are cleaning and scrubbing these videos and getting the wrong people off to punish people just because their channel is small is not right because it, it like i said before if there had never been a small youtube channel there would have never been a large YouTube channel. So therefore, YouTube creators made good money off the backs of small YouTubers who became large YouTubers. And for that, I feel that there should be some type of consideration, some type of um, act of kindness shown toward people who are starting their channels. Some people just started their channels and they didn't even have an opportunity to build their channels. And I think that's very, very unfair. I think that everyone that you sent out, you took the time to send, send out this email, channel should be looked at, view for the content that they're presenting, view for, you know, and looked at how much work that they put in to try to bring you a great video, to put great material out here on this platform and base it off of that and not on how small they are, how many followers they have or how many watch hours they had. I think that's very unfair. If sponsors were willing to put their uh, ads on our videos, then who are you to make the decision whether or not it should go there? You know, I think it's really unfair. But I think that the reason why YouTube can control this because there's no competitors. There's no one out there that has come up with another platform to compete against YouTube to make this a competitive market. If that happened, then there could be a lot of changes because then you couldn't hold people to such a high standard or kick them down. You know, you're kicking people down who build you up. And that's all I wanted to say tonight. This video may get taken down at some point, but just to be able to voice my opinion, I would not violate any of the rules as far as copyright issues. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make sure I cover all my bases just so that I can get this video out and just to tell all of my small YouTubers just to keep going. If this is something you truly have passion for and love for in your heart, continue to do what you got to do. Because for me, it's more than just receiving a paycheck. Because the paycheck that I have received from YouTube wasn't going to take care of me anyway. It's about the content that I'm putting out, the message that I'm trying to send out to people, and the love I have in my heart for this type of work. And I love it. And I will continue to do it until I can't do it anymore. But there's going to always be something else. So when this goes away, when YouTube finally ruins itself, there will be something else out there. So don't ever give up on your dream. Don't ever allow someone to come in and take away um, something that you have worked so hard for. Don't let anybody be a dream uh, stopper. Don't let nobody cut your dreams down. And just to say to YouTube, um, 
you know what, I have appreciated my opportunity here and I'm going to continue to create material to send out to my subscribers who are so loyal to me that come and sit and listen to the things that I have to put out. And that is all I have to say today. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Look for my videos tomorrow on Thursdays and I will see you all in a later video. Have a great night, everyone.